at the stock of dollar tree roar today. Here's a company that for a long time seemed to have trouble getting its act together. A few years ago, Dollar Tree acquired Family Dollar the lowest quality player in the dollar store space, if I say so myself, and they just couldn't seem to make the darn thing work. It got so bad that earlier this year, the activist investors at Starboard Value took a position in the company and started pushing for a sale of the, of the family dollar business. But Dollar Tree had a plan to turn things around by renovating these lower quality stores and closing the irredeemable low volume ones. So I counsel patience with this terrific management team. Give them a little more time for heaven's sake. Today we saw how that plan worked out. Dollar Tree reported inline revenues and earnings, but their enterprise wide same source sales came in much stronger than expected, up 2.4%, looking for 1.4. And while management's guidance appeared light at first glance, there's a lot of noise in these numbers, including an assumption that the tariffs on Chinese imports rise to 25%. More importantly, the turn in family dollar is working, which is why the company is stepping up its renovation efforts. So we're going to remodel 1,000 family dollar locations, rebrand hundreds more, also close up to 390 underperformers. Put it all together, and you got one exciting story to tell, which is, of course, why the stock fell at 5% today. Can you keep climbing? Let's check in with Gary Philbin. He's the president and CEO of Dollar Tree, who predicted this turn. The last time we spoke to him, right here, he predicted. That was 15 points ago. Get a better sense of how the quarter's going and the company's prospects. Mr. Philbin, welcome back to Man Money. Very Good job. to see you, Gary. Thank Congratulations. You. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. You're to be now. back. Now, okay, so here's the key thing. Can you have a family door, family, a family dollar that has any wow factor? Absolutely. And as we talked about in our plan on how we're going to renovate these stores, it's built around three things. Get the basics right, great looking store, great product, inject some family dollar wow items in there. But the magic dust is exactly what you talked about. Can we put some Dollar Tree items in there that's a surprise for the customer when she walks in the store. Well, that's what we like. And I have to tell you, when I go to my family dollar, I know exactly what I'm going to get. When I go to my Dollar Tree, when I walk in, I never know what I'm going to get. And that's part of the hunt. Well, it is. It's through the hunt. That's what we've built Dollar Tree on for all these years, right? And our customers know everything's a dollar, but they're going to find something new every time they come in. Okay, everything's a dollar, but when I read through the lines, I read closely. You're open to other ideas. I bet you you will be testing some things that may be dollar five. Well, uh, I doubt it will be a dollar five. But really, seriously, what we put into the release today was we've tested before. Right. This is not a. This is not something that is strange to us. We want to get off the table. Of course, we're going to test, and we're going to test things that stick to the brand. Right. And Dollar Tree is known for a wow first and foremost in the dollar price point, and what can we add to that? How about H2? What's going on there? Well, H2, H2 is our name internally for the renovation program. Right. And for us, it's a 1,000 stores that we're going to renovate, uh, some last year, but we're really thrilled with the 10% lift we're getting in these right. stores. It's more footsteps into the, for our customers into a family dollar. Okay, so you look, you're a retailer from way back. Our viewers at home might think, 10%, what's that? Could you explain them, given your gross margins, given your cash flow, mm -hmm. what it means? Well, today, the combined enterprise generates over $2 billion of, of uh, cash flow. We put a billion dollars into our stores. We invest in stores. We're a growth company. We build stores. We are putting a lot into our renovated family dollar stores. And what uh, this lift does, you take a fleet of stores and add 10% of volume to it, well, it works pretty well in these small Well, that's, that's how you're able to pay the balance sheet to pay down. I know a lot of people worry about how much you paid. I can't believe how much you spew the la these last few years, how much you were able to buy uh, debt you could buy back. Well, we did. Listen, we, we paid uh, about $9 billion, and we took on debt, and we paid down about 4.3 so far. And uh, we've been very methodical. Our rates have gone down because we've paid down right. rates while the world's gone up. Now, let's speak about the Chinese tariffs. I mean, you were here last time. You told us not to worry because you know how to source. But you still uh, were very conservative. What happens if there are no tariffs? Interesting. You know, we went into it not knowing. Our plan this year is that 25% tariffs is right. going into the latest tariff rounds. If that doesn't happen, listen, as always, we're going to be retailers. Some of that will come to the bottom line. But I always caution our folks, we're going to drive footsteps into Dollar Tree and Family Dollar, and that's some of the sauce we may need to do that. Okay, my late father always said, could you ever find out, how can they charge a buck for something that I'm going to pay three bucks elsewhere? How do you do it? A movie candy's four bucks. How do you charge a buck for that? I keep asking our buyers that. How do you do that? <laughs> <I'm>... <laughs> but you know these are my faves, yeah. and I can't figure out how you only charge a buck. Yeah, sometimes we don't have to argue about the retail at Dollar Tree. It right. becomes a one-way conversation. How much are we going to pay? Well, have the uh, not kind folks at Starboard called you and congratulated you? We have. Listen, we've uh, we've engaged with Starboard. Seriously, we have an engaged, uh, uh, engaged uh, shareholder. 
Right. Uh, we've been gone back and forth. Listen, what we've tried to lay out is that we think there's lots of value with our plan number one. Right. And we've talked an awful lot about our brand, a Dollar Tree. It's a brand. It's not just transactional right. price and item. Now, did you, uh, were you able to demonstrate uh, unequivocally that the same store that is a family dollar, when it is rebranded Dollar Tree, literally what more people come or, they do spend, or do they spend more or both? It's interesting. It takes folks about six months to figure it out. We take, took the name off and now it's a Dollar Tree, but footsteps come in and average transaction goes up just like it does at Dollar Tree year after year after year. Uh, well, you know my Dollar Trees. What do you do with the fact that my Dollar Tree in Neptune is so much nicer than my family Dollar? Not down the block, mm -hmm. but I mean, you know, the manager of the Dollar Tree until, until you guys merged, he was crushing the family Well, you're, you're talking about two important things in retail. What's the format look like? And that's what H2 is going to address. Okay. But the people is what makes the difference. And we have always focused at that at Dollar Tree, and it's what we're doing at Family Dollar, too. Next big uh, holiday, because I know that so much of what you do is involved around seasonal things. Well, we, of course, are St. Patrick's, but uh, we have a lot of uh, pink and blues and yellows up here. Trust me, Easter is out there somewhere, despite the snow you have on the ground. And today. you promised me you're going to have enough balloons for July 4th this year my, in my dollar. Count trip. on it. And uh, we're going to make sure 4th of July is going to be the biggest one ever at this it point. It sure is. Well, I want to thank you so much. Congratulations. You, you sat here. You said what was going to happen. And you delivered. And I love CEOs who do that. That's Gary Philbin. He's the CEO of Dollar Tree and also the president. And I've got to tell you guys, the stores look better than ever. Man, money's back after the break. Booyah! Jim Cramer here from Mad Money. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube. Click here to subscribe and get the jump on my exclusives with CEOs, plus market news, investing advice, and a whole lot more.